Hey, trucked up guys and gals. You know what burns my shorts? Absolutes. For or against. If you say something bad, for example, about an EV truck, you're an EV truck hater. If you critique something that might not be there yet or really needs to be worked on, you're a mm -hmm. whistle. You're an ass hat. And if you say something for an EV, suddenly you're a fanboy. You know, there's going to be a lot of f***ing beeps in this one, I think. In fact, probably most of this rant will just be a whole bunch of beeps and edits. But you know what? It's a rant for f***ing sakes. What do you think I'm going to do? You know, there's middle ground. For example, recently, I put out a video talking about 10 promises that Elon Musk broke on the Cybertruck. Oh, well, I'm a, I'm a bitter man. If you want to watch it, by the way, it's right here. I'm a Tesla hater. I'm a Cybertruck hater. Well, actually, I had a pre-order for the Cybertruck within three minutes of it opening up on the website. I was all ready for this thing. And you know what? It's still a great truck. It's not what was advertised. Not at all. If you go back and watch the 2019 reveal video, okay, I'll put a link down below. You're going to go through it, and I want you to check off all the things that Tesla actually did and you'll find you get a really neat score of <laughs> not a kapuchnik does that mean it's crap no but elon musk went through item by item got big promotional screens done of each one of these items and put it on the screen saying it does this orders are open now you're pawn scum if you point that out it should be pointed out it should be pointed out all the problems with the F-150 Lightning, which I own. There's all kinds of awesome things with this truck, but there's a lot of really stupid crap that Ford should frickin' change. Case in point, the little tiny frickin' 12-volt battery that who knows what it actually runs when your truck's turned off. When you pop the frunk, is it running off the 12 volt? If you pop your tailgate, is it running off the 12 volt? Mm, should be running off the lithium ion. I'm thinking it might be, but guess what? The 12 volt battery keeps dying twice now. My windows won't go up and down and it gives me an indicator that my battery's low. In a fully charged lithium ion electric truck because of this little that Ford cheaped out on. So Ford, Put in a lithium ion battery 12 volter that's going to be as reliable as the rest of the truck because the truck is reliable. There, I can go on and I can rant and I can be all pissy about things that go on with this truck. Am I a dick? Well, yeah, I kind of am. But outside of that, you can go and you can critique an electric vehicle and you want to know what that'll do? It'll put pressure on the electric vehicle manufacturer to do a better job. And that helps everybody, including them. Remember when Sandy Monroe roasted the living crap out of the Model 3. At that time, Elon Musk listened to people and didn't call them pedos and do other things online that we won't get into. The first thing he did is he changed it. It was amazing. Sandy Monroe said, I can't believe how fast these changes occurred. So there you go. It helps to critique the vehicles to make them better. When a conversation does this, person presents a piece of information, you know, uh, until range improves and the battery technology gets to a certain point, most truck owners aren't going to adopt EV trucks because they need the range to tow and haul. And the response from the person to that debate is, you know what, your mother made dirty sex movies and your father was in the Kentucky Derby. Okay, that's kind of funny. But they couldn't address the question head on. They couldn't make a case based on a counterpoint based on fact. So instead they go to character assassination and personal attack because, well, they're stupid. They live in their basement with their mother and they're 40. I don't know. As soon as I see those kind of people in a comment, block, 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 delete, 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 block, 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 because they're not mature individuals. They're f***ing angry monkeys. Those are the kind of people that piss me right off. That's not helping fix anything. You can think that Elon Musk is a white, privileged, bombastic, racist, smear white man-child. And you can love Tesla, buy every single Tesla model ever made, and buy Tesla stock and be a fervent investor and promoter. You can believe that Elon Musk doesn't stink, that he can walk on water, that he's the second coming of Buddha, that he's from the planet Vorgon, and his brain is the size of a mother watermelon. You can think all of those things and hate Tesla. We don't have to be one or the other. We don't have to have these absolutes that you can't own an EV if you own a V8 SUV, or you can't go out and buy yourself a diesel truck if you have a Model Y in the driveway. That's 
You can do both. These one or the other things is what gets us in trouble. And when we're uzzing them, me against you, everybody's picking up firearms and blowing the shit out of each other. And last time I checked the news, that's exactly what we're doing. So you know what? We need to do less of that. And how do we do less of that? We have an open debate and we can discuss it like civilized human beings. So why don't we take a step back and look at the whole process of what it means to have a vehicle run on electrons instead of running on fossil fuel. That's it. It's still a means of locomotion. And if you like to listen to <laughs> that I keep spewing out, hey, every time I get in my truck and my gets tied in a knot you want to make sure you get notified so click that like subscribe and bell notification icon so you know what's coming next thanks for watching